Okay, on it. Hello. <laughs> Hello, how are you guys doing today? This is Charles Tambo, the boss of the Global Bosses. So excited to be in your midst today. This is the 50th, 50th episode of Meet Your Success Partner. 50. Oh, guys, there's a power of consistency in our business. 50. Let's celebrate 50, guys. Let's make this video go viral. Celebrate 50. 50. Drop in the comment. 50. Drop that in the comment. 50. 50. 50. One, two, three. Hop to 50th episode. Ah, this is great. This is my blowing. You know, imagine getting married to someone. And you guys are in love for 50 years. <laughs> God, you guys, you guys got to imagine that. <laughs> 50. You got it now. So, you know, you guys know the terms. I, I'm, I'm, I'm sometimes analog. You guys know the terms. Yeah? 50. 50. That's the episode. So keep sharing. Share this video. 50 episode, 50th episode of Meet Your Success Partner. It has been an amazing journey so far from the first episode up to this 50th episode. Amazing journey. Do you agree with me? Yes. We've had so many people who have lost interest in their business, got activated as a result of watch this episode to have people who never knew what this business was all about who never knew how the processes look like now they are they are excited with their business and so 50 episode 50th episode congratulations to us all the viewers congratulations to all of us who made this possible who made it possible for us to be in this episode we have our guest already with us in the studio welcome the boss lady we are celebrating the 50th episode of meet your success partner wow. uh, uh today and so we are excited we're excited so guys wow. you know the yeah. rules you know the rules <laughs> you know the rules fire fire energy <laughs> set fire congratulations to ross huh so share this video, share, share, share. We need to have over a thousand share today. We can do it. Over a thousand share today. So if you have clicked on the share button, I want you to drop share so that I can do a shout out to you. Click on the share button. If you are watching from YouTube, copy the link and drop on your WhatsApp group, on your, on your social media handles, copy the link. Ask your team members to follow you, to follow you to watch this. Don't be stingy. You know, one of the secrets to my business is being generous. Be generous, but you never can tell where the seed can grow. So share it. Keep sharing. If, if we were to pay these leaders for their experience, you know what that will cost. But now... They are here sharing their experience. They are joining with us free of charge. Free. It's all you need to do. Follow us on, 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 uh, on Facebook, on our social media handle, on Facebook, on Instagram. Follow us and follow us on YouTube. Follow us. So I'm seeing some shared. Thank you very much, Ineka, for sharing. Thank you, Margaret, for sharing. As you are sharing, I want you to drop shared and the location where you are joining from so that i will mention it also thank you for sharing princess thank you for sharing um chioma thank you for sharing monachi thank you for sharing azuka uh thank you for sharing i can see people drop your location where are you joining us from uh follow me thank you for sharing this video share this video 
And the next thing you need to do is tag your friends, tag your team members. Uh, sharing means caring. Tagging means caring also. Tag your team members. Angel, thank you for sharing, Angel. Thank you for sharing, Olive, Maureen, Ebony, Ellen, all the way from UK. Thank you for sharing this video. Keep on, keep on sharing, keep on sharing, share, 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 share. Thank you for sharing, Maureen, all the way from UK. Blessing, uh, in Neka, all the way from Portacot, uh, in Naji, uh, from Abuja. Tag all your team members, tag them on this video, and ask them to share. Share this video. I'm here with the boss lady, a woman I admire so much. Uh, she's doing her thing quietly, and she's trail. She's a trailblazer. You get it now. And so I'm so excited, excited to have her here to come share a journey with us. Uh, excellent all the way from Cameroon. Thank you for sharing. I'm coming to Cameroon next week. See you guys next week. Ida, thank you for sharing. Uh, Sylvester, thank you for sharing all the way from Taraba. Taraba. Ogun State, Olum Funke, um, Betia, thank you for sharing. Anita, thank you for sharing. All the way from Lagos. Yes, this is uh, our 50th episode. 50 year episode. Wow. Let's do it, man. Anniversary wow. things. <laughs> wow. Well done. <laughs> well done. Back to back, every week, non stop, even in the heat of COVID, we were on, on. Christopher, thank you for sharing. So keep sharing this video. Keep sharing. Let's have more people see this because this industry that we are talking about, our company, Longreach, has really affected the life of so many people. So share it. Share it. If you are in love with Longreach, share. Share it. Share it. Not, not because of me. Uh, even if you don't love me, love the company. <laughs> Love the company. But I know you guys love me. That's why you're here. Huh? So share Zambia. Um, we share you from Zambia. I can see you, Alex, from Zambia. Uh, thank you for sharing, Alex. Faithful. Faith, faithful. Thank you for sharing. I think you're in Cameroon or so. But they are the B. Thank you for sharing all the way from Lagos. Christopher, thank you for sharing all the way from Adamawa. Teresa, 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 where are you? Thank you for sharing. Thank you, guys, for sharing. So let's get started. I want to introduce our guest now. She's here with us. And let's get it rolling. Let's get it rolling. So let's meet our guest. Her name is Lillian Uja. SD Lillian Uja. She's a network marketing leader with Long Ridge Bell Science International. She's a wife, a mother to a love, lovely children. She's an econ economist by profession. She worked in the finance industry for six years as a marketer with no pay rise or other incentive. <laughs> <laughs> At a point during her, her years working, she faced challenges with childbirth lost four late 10 pregnancies her husband decided it was time to quit her job while at home nursing her fifth pregnancy she tried her hands in entrepreneurship one of which was selling of female clothing but she still wasn't fulfilled while in the search of fulfillment her friend dolachi omale introduced her to network marketing January 2017. I never knew uh, Allah she was your upline <laughs> until wow, until you sent me your profile. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, so at first, Lillian explained she was skeptical. How can a shy, introverted lady like her make a success out of network marketing? She later discovered that the business takes ordinary people and helps them achieve extraordinary results. 
stumble on a training online three months after starting a network marketing business. And they set our business on a cruise. Lillian established and implemented strong systems in building her team. By the end of the 12 months, she was making a monthly salary in one week. She began working a network marketing business full time. And after three years, she was earning six, seven figures weekly income in a network marketing business. Today, I'm able to inspire a lot of people, especially, especially women, and teach them how to build the lives of their dreams. I'm a living proof that anyone can, anyone can. That is the statement from SD Lillian. Right? I hope I pronounce this well. SD yeah. Lillian. Uja. 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 Right. So uh, we met during my early days in the business. When I was, uh, you know, I was everywhere like MTN. I came to Lagos mm -hmm. and I saw her, uh, you know, I, I, when I saw her, I said, this woman is a, this one is a Jebota network marketing <laughs> or network marketer. That, that, that time I came to Lekki, I said, this one, uh, this one I've seen a lot of a Jebota network marketer. So, hmm. oh, hala. <laughs> And she was she was so excited. I think that that was a, a program I had with uh, one of my team member, Billy, uh, yeah. in one of uh, one center, one stocky center. I think we went there together or so. Yes, no. you you were invited to speak. In, I guess. Yes. So I remember uh, with the what's her uh, her name? Uche. The woman with Afro. This is Uche. <laughs> That because that's a brand, <laughs> yeah, Mrs. Yeah. Uche. So that was where I met you. That was the first time I met you, yes, it's mm. true. I saw posh looking people doing this business. You know, many people, when they come into our industry, they feel it is for those who are hungry. And no. you see people who are posh, who are not hungry, who are learned, who, who are still owing small money and big money doing <laughs> doing the business so i'm so excited we're so excited to have you here come share thank your you. journey thank you so with much us. thank you now i want to ask you how did you get started in network marketing uh, without mentioning the company's name when did you get started were you before before you joined network marketing did you is this something you feel you could you is your team or is not your team because i saw it from your profile and so how did you not join was long reach your first network marketing company so let's let's hear from you all right all right guys thank you so much thank you so so much for this privilege it's a honor really i want to say thank you to my sd2 charles tambo for this privilege to share okay and i hope that this it's worth your time actually before i joined um network before i joined my present company I had not done any network marketing business before and i never saw myself doing any because i have always been this very quiet person i'm still a quiet person very mm. quiet and in her space person i do not like to i like to be on my own i like to spend time with myself so i don't know how to make friends not that i'm proud but i don't know how to start off the conversation so for me it wasn't my thing now i grew up with a mom that had done several networks. You know, anyone that comes into the country, she oh, did. I can mention them, you know. <laughs> <laughs> networking family. Up, she, yeah, I grew up, she did, GNLD, and she, oh my goodness, I'm not supposed to mention names. No, I'm no, not supposed to <laughs> But she did a lot of them, I'm sure you know them. All of them that came into this country, she had a hand in them. So I grew up, you know, each time I, each time you pass by my house, you'll find the banner of each of the new companies at the gates, you know, that kind of thing. So that's how she did hers. <laughs> And I grew up seeing her doing that way. And in my mind, I was like, these people are just wasting your time. And we, you know, she never made any money. So with that mindset, wow. I knew that it wasn't for me. I've always been someone who likes to read. I wanted to further my studies. I wanted to, you know, build my career. I've been a career, career person. If not for my, for what happened to the situation around my pregnancies, I would have pursued that. But at some point I had to stay back because my husband advised I come back, stay back at home and then so that we can have our babies. And that was how I stopped work but you know while at home 
I started doing, you know, businesses online, right? I've always been an online person. I started yeah. building my business. As in, what I did was, my husband was able to raise me with a little, I think then I told him I wanted to start selling shoes and bags and ask for money. He told me to do a proposal. But then he gave me 50K to start and let him see what that money would turn into. So I started with 50,000 while I was still writing my proposal. You know, men, now when you want to ask for money, they will tell you to drop proposal. So I used that 50K, I built my business while at home. Because each time I was pregnant, I was advised to lie down on the bed for nine months. So while I was on my bed, what I used to do was do research of how I could buy and sell things without traveling abroad. I stumbled on a lot of, you know, contacts, a lot of ways to do that. And I started with that 50000 naira. And by 12 months, I was able to raise that money to about $1.5 In wow. my mind, I was doing well. In my mind, honestly, I had a lot of followers who were buying. And I wasn't leaving my house. So I thought I was doing well. When I saw my friend doing what this business, network marketing, I was looking at her and telling her she's wasting her time because what I was doing was fine. You know, I kept watching her. And until 12 months later, I saw her driving a, a brand new car. I sent her a message and I said, well, how did this car come? What happened? Where did you get? Well, I know her from way back. I know how things were. You know, it was a drastic turnaround. You know that in the country where we are, it's difficult for people to drive brand new cars. People buy yeah. cars every day, but they buy Tokumbo, they buy Nigerian used. People hardly buy brand new cars. But I saw her driving a brand new car, and that was it for me. I sat down and thought to myself, at that point, I, not, I didn't have a car. We had one car in the house. My husband drives his car out. When he's not around, I can drive the car out. But that's as much as I could afford at that time. I didn't have a car. I didn't have a Tokumbo. And someone who was talking to me about network marketing, was able to buy a brand new car in 12 months. That was it. I asked her to come over to the house. She said, it's the business you said you would not do. You are the people that go to school. So you guys should keep going to school, you know? I, I honestly, that was it. That was what <laughs> caught my attention. You know, when she got to my house, I asked her a question. I said, are you saying that if I build my business, I'll also be able to buy a car one day myself, not my husband? He said, she said, Lillian, if you would listen to me and follow, you would do that. I asked her another question. How much do you make now? She told me one thing. She said something. She said, I think that was what even helped my journey. She mentioned some said, if I show you how much I make now, you will not come in and make it now. You will need to build your business to a point before you can start making this money. And I told her, I understand perfectly, but I want to see what you earn. And she showed me her alerts that day. I think it was a Thursday. It was 250,000 naira. As a sharp Igbo babe, I did a mental calculation. That's one point one million in a month. Aside her children's earnings, and I was sitting down saying I had built my business and I had about one point five. That's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> I had to give myself. I had to give myself brain. Like I told her, I said, okay. She mentioned another thing that caught my attention. She said, if I build my business to a particular point in this company, I can get a scholarship to school abroad since I love schooling. In fact, that was the icing on the cake. And I said, how do I get started? She told me the packages and I got on board immediately. Honestly, that was how I got into network marketing. Wow. I don't know. It was just by chance, really. It was by chance. Wow. It was wow. chance. Wow. Wow. So, so uh, the, 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 what attracted you now was, was a success story. Yeah. A success story because you knew who or her, her background. You knew her very well. So, Thinking that seeing someone you know you doing well in a business that you uh, how, how can I do this kind of business now made you to join. Now aside aside the the money, can you is is there any products that you now that now attracted you aside the money aspect? Honestly, I'm a very honest person. I did not know anything about products. I wasn't interested in products. I was interested <laughs> in the money. Let me let me tell you the truth. When I even joined, I didn't even use the product. I wasn't interested. I was still, I was still using the normal brand of toothpaste everybody uses, the one people know. I wasn't. <laughs> I had toothpaste. I had everything for my company, but I never because I wasn't about the product. What caught my attention was the lifestyle. I wanted that lifestyle. I wanted a lifestyle, and she told me that this business could afford me that lifestyle. I wasn't interested in any other thing. I was looking at the lifestyle. I'm someone who loves the good things of life. I want to wear a bone street without bothering, bothering my husband. I like to walk into a shop, I see a designer brand and I buy it for myself. I like good things. 
I like to travel. I like my kids to look good. And I don't want to bug anybody to make them uncomfortable, put them under pressure for whatever reason. That was the lifestyle. Drive good cars. You know, be able to afford things for my extended family. That was it for me. That lifestyle was what I saw, and that was what got me here. Yeah. Uh, so that's guys, I, guys, I hope you guys are listening. I hope you're watching this. And I hope you listen to the parts uh, uh, as the Olashi replied, uh, team member, that if you join now, you is not you will not be any uh, So some of us would like to hype things to make people join our business. But look at what the truth made our team member to go all out to start building a business. So be plain, be be sincere with people. Don't tell people once they just once they just join your business now they start making millions. There's a process to our business, and that was what she did, and she was sincere about it. Now, can you not tell us? You said when you joined, you don't have prior knowledge about network marketing. So what did you not do? What are the things you do not you not do? Honestly, you know how you know how you join a business and you think that once you come in, you just contact everybody you know and they'll be willing yeah. to just go on the ride with you. That was it. That was how I started. As soon as she told me that, okay, girl, what happened was she told me, okay, work business has started, work has started. Organize people, let them come to the house, invite your friends, let's have a business chat. So I did that. I invited about 15 people, 10 people showed up. That was two days after I signed up. Some people showed up at my house. I got them drinks and snacks. And she met, she talked to them a bit. And two people signed up that same day. That got me so interested and made me feel like this thing is super easy. So what I did the next thing was I created a chat room and I threw everybody, my contacts, into the chat room. And I started, you know, dumping everything I was told. You know, I was dumping everything. And after a while, some people were leaving. Some people had to even call me and tell, they told me, do not try that again. Don't add me to any chat room without me calling me. What's that? You know, somewhere else, you know, I felt really broken. I felt really disappointed. I felt really bad. I was like, are you sure this thing is for me? How can me? How can these people talk to me like this? It was so <laughs> demeaning. I felt really bad. So what I did was I went into my shop about a week or two. And she noticed it. My upline noticed it and kept calling me. But then one day I decided to start researching. Like I told you, I like to do research a lot. I started researching about the term network marketing. And while I was researching, I found out that people were doing it even in Nigeria and I started following them. Now I found out that most of them were even using social media to do their business. That was it. Then I started researching on social media marketing for network marketing. That was it for me. While I was doing that and doing that, I found out that you could use the social media to build your business and build a multi multi million dollar business. I got so interested. You know, I was reading it like it was a PhD course. Every day you see mm. me reading something about the network marketing, using online to do it. You know, I was just reading. I saw, once my kids go to school, I'm in my office and I'm my home office and I'm reading and reading and reading. That was how I stumbled on a particular training. And um, I, was, I saw the speakers. I wasn't interested until I saw a particular speaker who was coming to speak on online network marketing. Okay. That particular person was what got me to make payments for that course. Now, I did not mention that before I joined network marketing, the month before I joined, I had put my money, all the 1.5 million I had raised for my business, I had put it into MMM. I put it in in November to you know, multiply the money. Okay, so my business can have more funds. Mm -hmm. By December, they said it was freezing, and that was how MMM ended. So I lost all I had worked for in that you know Ponzi scheme. Wow. So when I started wow. my business, I didn't have money. I was broke. So when Ooh. I joined, I had about twenty k left in my account. So when this training came, when I found the training online, I didn't have money to sign up. I won't mention the man, but because a lot of people would know him, but I contacted him. And I told him that I don't have money to sign up for your course, but I would love to attend. It was a physical training. I would love to attend. I've been following you for a while now. And he told me he loved my boldness. He said, if I allow you to attend, when would you pay me? I said, I honestly don't know when I'll pay you. And I'm really broke, but I would like to do this. But I promise to pay you in two months. This guy told me, I love your you know, boldness. Nobody has done this. Okay, just make a commitment. So I paid 5000 it was for 5000 at that time. I paid 5K and he sent me the venue. That was how I attended that course. That course, that single course changed the whole game. 
I came back from that course the next day. I started implementing everything I was told. I implemented everything. And that was how my business started, you know, people started responding to me. I started getting people from outside the country just by implementing what I learned. And that was how my business took, took you know, full grabs. I never disturbed or bothered my family or friends. It was as soon as they started seeing my results that they started asking what I was doing. Because I told myself that what they did to me then was going to be what I was going to, you know, rely on and come back with a bank. I'm not going to allow what they did to me to affect me. The fact that they yeah. walked or laughed at me or left my chat rooms or called me to tell me never to add them to a chat room again was the reason why I was going to succeed and have them come back. Most of them have joined me now. I'm their leader. They listen to me, you know. <laughs> and, <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's really, you know, the best thing you can give to anybody is your results. Mm. Your result is what is going to cancel any insults. So that's how hmm. I got started. And it was social media that helped me. Social media, wow, that's that's great, fantastic. So, if if what what will you what will you tell before we come talk about your challenges when you got started? What 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 were what were the, the what were some of the things that uh, pushed you to get to where you are now? What are those things that made you to get to where you are? The step by step. If a new person is joining this business now, what would you tell the new person to do to get to start directorship? Okay, I always tell people that your success depends on what is chasing you. How far mm. you will go in life depends on what is chasing you. You know, I'm, I'm from a family of um, six girls and a boy, so seven. I'm the first child. Okay, and mm. you know, when you're having, when you're enough when, responsibility, as in, in my part of the country, you know, Igbo culture, if you don't have a, a male child, it looks like you are not, you know, you're not it. They don't qualify you, you know, that kind of thing. So my mom was that kind of person that wanted a male child. And she kept yeah. going on and on. That was why we had, she had six girls. But even at that, she still wanted a male child. We had one and he died. And she kept, because she continued, I think after the fifth one, she had a boy. He, we lost him at one year. She wanted more. She kept, you know, having more until my brother came, which is the seventh one. Now, I lost my mom four years ago. This is someone who worked her whole life was she wanted to have a son. She wanted to have a son. You know, she kept at this. And that always gave her um, high blood pressure. So all of that caused her health issues. She died at 49, very young. I lost her. And when I lost her, I had, to, I had the responsibility of six other people behind me who depended on me. Now, I'm from a family as well where people, they are wealthy. You know, people have money. And the girl child, you know the thing about the girl child. I wanted to prove people wrong. I wanted to prove that the girl child can actually be something in life, you know. The girl child can be can be can even do what men cannot do. For me, that was my that was what one of the things that was pushing me, you know, aside from the lifestyle. I really wanted to make people know that the girl child has so much in her. So that was what pushed me to do what I did. Remember, I'm a very shy person. I mentioned that when I was in school. When I was in secondary school, I was so quiet and timid that my mates bullied me. They will see me and tell me to get on my knees and I'll get on my knees. It was that bad. I was so shy. If you know anybody wow. who knows me, they'll tell you. So when I when they see or hear about me now, they're like, that same Lillian, that same girl. I know her now. She was so quiet. I'm still very quiet. But you know, when you will love something, when you want something so much, you will damn every consequence. You will not think about it. When I'm talking about my business, I forget about the shyness. I'm a very shy, introverted person. But when it comes to my business, as long as you have told me that if I put in this, I'm going to get this, I will put it in. I will put it in. The whole idea behind people reading books or doing their masters or doing PhDs is for them to make money. What else? It's for them to make yeah. money. So if I had done yeah. that the whole years, I done that a long time ago, reading my books, doing ICANN and all of that, and I did not get anything. I did not make money. And you're telling me if I talk to people, I'll make money. I'll put it aside and talk to people to make money. The whole aim is to make money. When I have built my wealth, I will oh. buy a doctorate degree to my name. That's what I am about. So that's life. Whatever you're doing, you're doing it to make money. So if it's not creating money for you, you need to think about something else. You need to think about the next plan. That's yeah, it, 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 that, that's setting priorities straight. They need to set their priorities straight. They will say, I want to go to school. I want to get all the degrees. At the end of it all, school is good, 
very good, but make sure it's driving you to your purpose. The purpose is to take care of your family. Uh, you can't be going to school and be broke. Your children are begging. And so it, that, that's a message we are sending to a lot of people who are making that as an excuse not to build their business. So thank you for sharing sharing that with us. So what, what were your challenges now building your business? Well, what were, my, challenges what, what were the challenges? Was, my challenges then were my family, friend, friends. A lot of people were laughing. In fact, someone called me and said, with all your degree, with all your icon, with all your books that you've been reading, with, because you know, those people they used to call ethicals in school, where those were Libya. <laughs> <laughs> so she said, is this what you want to start doing now? Is this where you want to, is this the path you want to tow? You know, a lot of people called me, one of my aunts is, in fact, the very woman you mentioned, Mrs. Uche, who has now become my business partner, at some point, she called me and told me, is there something wrong? Maybe maybe you're not okay. Do I need to support you? Um, do you want me to, she, she, she just kept buying my products because she thought I was probably hungry. Or maybe I don't have, there's something, I'm broke. And I needed help. That's why I'm doing this. Because they felt like, how would you read all that and still come and do this? This is not supposed to be what you should do. But guess what? When she saw that I quali kept qualifying for trips, all expense pay trips abroad, she wasn't moved. Because she's someone who would travel ordinarily, maybe from Friday and come back on Sunday. She travels a lot. But when she saw that I qualified for the 3.5 million naira car and then the 6 million naira car, she had to call me to say, hey, babe, I want to know how you're doing this. Because this is, these are people who took care of me. These are people who sent who sent me money when I was in school, who I used to look up to. Now I was counting millions right in their faces. She had to call me to say she was... She wanted to know how it worked. And when I told her how it worked, she came in right on the spot. You see, you have to decide what you want. I had a lot of challenges. My, 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 okay, let me give you this one. My husband, then when I told her I was broke. So when I started my network marketing business, I didn't have money. So as, every time I needed to make my hair, go to the salon or do something, I would ask him for money. And that, you know, I was using social media. Now come to social media and I'll say, network marketing rocks. Oh, boom, boom, we just got paid. I maybe, you know, I'm just starting the business. I got paid, yes, but it wasn't so much. My husband would send me a message while I was at work and tell me, will you keep quiet and stop stop making noise? Which money did you, did you get paid? You know, he would just laugh at me and, you know, make mockery of me and all of that. And I'll tell him, just leave me alone and let me do my business, you know? Sometimes when I ask him for money for my hair, he will tell me, network market that. She'd be, you're always on Facebook talking rubbish, you know? He was always saying those things, but I didn't let those things get to me. <laughs> I knew where I was going. I knew what I was, I knew my I knew my destination. So I just needed time. I always told him, I said, what you're doing right now is for the present. Network marketing that I'm doing is for our future. Just watch. And that's the reality. That's the truth. It's the reality. Wow. Wow. Guys, if you are getting a lot of value from this, I want you to drop some emoji, some fire emoji at emoji. Drop one 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 in the comments if you are getting getting a lot of value from this video. And now the you know let me when people share one more when challenge. people especially some people who are shy. Okay, okay, we're listening. I had a particular um, incident, and this was my son, my son's um, school, the owner of his school. Then, you know, I was. While I was building my business, I needed a particular point to click to qualify for my first ever trip. And I needed to go all out. It was just remaining a little. Remember, I was doing online, right? I built all of that online, but I needed a little more to close it, and it was a deadline. So I had yeah. to go out of my shell to speak to the woman. So I spoke to her and she said she was interested. But after a while, she started acting funny. When she sees me in school, when I come drop my son, she would she would just, you know, she would ignore me or she would just quickly walk away. I started feeling very, 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 you know, I started feeling very stupid. Why should I even told her about it in the first place? The day she gave me an appointment for me to come in with my superior, she, we came in to see her and she stepped out. She walked, she walked out on us and went home. That can be so, so distracting. It would have been a time where I would have, because I needed to qualify that week and I needed a PV that week. And she left me. She went home, and when we called, I said, sorry, there was an emergency. That was how this woman killed my vibe. But you know what? I told myself, these are the people that will make me do well. See, it's better you, it's, the way you look at your challenges matter. If you see it as a challenge, it becomes a challenge. If you see it as 
a springboard. It becomes a springboard. I saw it as a springboard. And guess what? The minute we were able, my son, you know, started mm. earning so much at some point. The minute his school, his money, his earnings got to about 600, 700K weekly, we pulled him out of that school. And the same one of the school was calling us and asking us the reason why we we're taking him out. I told her, I said, we can, um, we, I told her, I said, the dad, his dad wants him to go to a better school. Today, my son goes to a school of about 500,000 in, in um, a session. She was dumbfounded because she knew, she knew us before and she knew us, she now knows us now. And she can see the, the big, big difference. And today she's my, she's my business. So you better see your challenges as a springboard and run with it. Every challenge is a springboard. Mm. Mm. You got the memo, guys. You got the memo. You need to get that. Every challenge is a springboard. It's not an excuse for you to stop doing your business. It's a reason why you need to start doing your business. Well, because when you start having results, the results will terminate insults. Thank you. Thank you for that. Thank you very much. So we have people who are, who are stuck in their business. We have people who have built this business and uh, they are stuck. Were they, were they time you had challenges where you had your team members not working? What did you do? Oh, yes. I severally. In fact, there's no, there's no leader who is in network marketing who has not experienced this. This is very, very, very common. In fact, if you've not experienced it, you are going to experience it. No matter yes. how far you go in network marketing, you would have a time where your team members would just probably pull out and go join some other, some other network or just decide to take a, a, a mattress and sleep off. It happens to everybody, and that's the process. That's the process. You must go with the process. Now, I had a lot of times like that, but what, what, what I tell people is that if people are not working, you need to show them why they should work. Now, one of the reasons why people sleep is if they go to bed, if you pressure them too much, they feel like you are trying to use them. So how do you get them inspired? By doing what you are saying they should do. So see yourself yeah. as one man. See your, see your team as one man. Do not, I do not see my team as a team of myself and people. I see most of them, I see it as myself alone. Because yeah. if you say, do this, recruit, are you recruiting? What I do most times is that if I recruit, I tell them or I show them or I let them know. Let them see that Lillian is also recruiting. When questions are asked and people are saying, who is your upline in the chat room, they should be mentioning you. Know, these people should be mentioning my sponsor is this person. Even though you are a star director, even though you're a diamond seven, even though you're a diamond six, mm. even though you're a diamond four or five, you should be doing what they are doing. If you set a goal, you should be doing more times two of what you have set. So most times, I rather motivate people by what I'm doing. You see, when they see that, or I look at those that are ready to work and I work with them, when they see that those people are getting results, they will, you know, come back to their business. You know, there's something where Higgins says, he says, Instead of taking people out of the fire, keep them around the campfire. When you keep them around the campfire for so long, they will begin to get a bit warm. And at some point, they begin to get hot. And before you know, they will spark off. It happens a lot. I have noticed it. I will never take you out of yeah. my chat room because you are, you are not working. I will never, if you call me, you're not working, I will not sound rude to you. I will still talk to you like nothing is happening. Because I feel like something is going to inspire you one day. So just, I keep you around. So that one day you get ignited. That's how it, that's how to motivate people. And along the line, infusing new blood into your team is also one, one good thing. You need to keep recruiting. You will not say because you've gotten results or because my team members are not working, you are not recruiting. You have to keep recruiting. You know, one thing about network marketing, the, the, the result is in the numbers. If you must, if you have um, a firebrand in your team, at least you should have about 50 to 60 people to find even two firebrands. Is that so? Is mm. in the numbers. The more people you are able to get into your business, the more people you are able to expose your business to, the better for you. Because you don't know that per day you're going to meet Charles Stambu. You don't know the day you're going to meet someone who is fired up, who is going to come into your business. Mm. But if you quit, you might never meet that person. So that's 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 it for you. That's how to grow this business, and that's how to get people motivated. There is nothing new to you. Everything you're expressing currently. Every leader has experienced it and they've gone through it. So find out what they did, 
implement it and it will work for you hey that that that's that's just the truth that's that's the truth make sure you are you are you are that fire that is attracting others to also fire up if you are if fired up if you are not uh, doing the business and you're expecting your team members to do the business guys uh that means you started managing your team leaders don't manage team members they lead and leaders are always at the forefront so be at the forefront you've heard the sd you've heard from the lillian sometimes you have to be a one-man show you get it one of my mentors said me me alone seminar you want to always have that me alone seminar all the time until you have team members who will do seminar with you thank you uh sd uh for sharing that with us so are you there can't hear again can you hear me i can hear you okay so you know um you mentioned about social media yeah. can you talk a little on that okay um one of the things i found out one of in building things, in building one's business yeah. can you can you mention that because many people want to see how they can also build on social media just talk a little on that okay one of the things i found out while doing my research you know about network marketing and how you can build online was the fact that for you to get people to you know join your business online you need to use the attraction marketing is a strategy you know people need to be attracted to you people need to be attracted to what you're doing and the only way people can be attracted to you or what you're doing is by liking and trusting you and these things don't happen overnight people cannot mm. like or trust you in one month People cannot like or trust you in three months even. It took me about six months of doing my business diligently mm. on Facebook for me to even get people responding to me. But what I found, I find out is that these days when you tell people to do social media, when you teach them, they go try it out. One week, two weeks, they don't get any results. They're like, this thing is not working for me. And after one month, they don't go back to it. It doesn't work quickly. It doesn't work fast. But guess what? It, it works. As soon as people are able to love you and like you, and they can trust you enough, then they will start reaching out to you. Attraction marketing is branding yourself, making yourself different from the, from, the, from the pack. A lot of people are doing network marketing. A lot of people are actually on social media. What will make you different? What is your unique teacher? What will make people say, so I will important. not join this person, I will rather join you? That is what is going to make people join you. Not by posting everything or anything, but by knowing what strategic things to post. Sometimes not necessarily about your business. And it's not about posting on Facebook. You know, when I say attraction market, people think it's just by posting. Sometimes it's about targeting people, running adverts, targeting the right people, getting people to see opportunity, getting them into a private place where you can now expose the business to them. So all of this was what I did, okay? I do that, I get people I don't know, you know? When people when you brand yourself so well people who don't know you they would just assume that you're already making the money you're already spent making all that money because they don't know you they don't add any sentiments there's no emotional whatever added to it they take everything you tell them hook line sink that they might not join you immediately but they they, they they will join you later because you find a way to you know be in their faces what i do is when you reach out to me even if it's not my facebook profile somewhere else instagram or anywhere I make you my friend on Facebook. And because I'm always posting on Facebook, that's a continuous reminder. That's my follow-up strategy. You keep seeing my posts, and as you keep seeing my posts, one day you'll be drawn to saying I'm ready. So what we do on social media is trying to build relationships, you know, exposing our, our, ourselves to people, being in their faces every day, so that they have not, you know, there's something about, um, just like adverts. When you keep seeing a particular advert on TV, one day you walk into a store to buy something and you buy end up buying that particular product you've been seeing on tv that was not what you went there to buy because there's something about the mind the eyes whatever it captures last longer than what the ear hears and that's why you find out that a lot of tv commercials do they do better than advert or jingles on radio that's because what you see what the eyes see the mind captures and it lasts or stays for forever 
And that's why when we use social media and we, we make sure that we show up daily, we are trying to be in the faces of our audience or our target markets every day. So whenever they decide not to take a decision to join network marketing, they have no other option but to, to come to you. That's the strategy behind what we do. So it's not about come and join my business, come and join my business, but giving out value, giving out, you know, um, inspiration, giving out stuff that people will look at you and begin to trust you. So when they decide to take up this journey, it is you because they see you as an authority. So that's just the strategy behind how to grow your businesses online. It takes time, but it works better. Because when I started my business, I know in my first year, that's true. when I was doing my social, when I was in my ad back daily, I could talk to 100 people a day. I could expose my business to 100 people a day in my room. And every week I got sign-ups, at least three to four to five people day, weekly to sign up with me. That was how I built my business. So it is diligence, Fantastic, guys. it is persistence, it is being committed. That's what works. It is hard work, guys. That's true. That's true. You know, many people, many people, what they do in our business is when they talk to one person and they get a good response, they, they stop talking to people. They stop talking to people. They just they just send a message and the person say, Yes, okay, I'll get back to you tomorrow. And they stop. They don't they don't go to the next person. Look at what you said now. You say you talk to 100 people in a day, and sometimes in a week you get you get three, four, five, five sign-ups. It's all about exposures, guys. Whatever way you want to do it, if you don't expose your business to people, nobody joins your business. Nobody joins. So learn how to expose your business. Learn from the healthies. Look at what they are doing. Showing up daily. I said, I, I, somebody said, Charles, you're always online. You're, how are you doing it? I said, even, I'm not trying. For me, I'm not trying. If I see people like Grant Cardone, if I see people like Eric Worre, if I see the way they show up every day in their business, I'm not doing anything. I'm not. So because those are the people I'm looking at. So if, if they are promoting their business so much that anytime you scroll, your Facebook, you must see them. That is how you want to do your business. You want to brand yourself to that level. People will be seeing you in your business. Grant, Grant said, Grant made a statement. He said, if you are thinking about, if you are doing your business based on two or numbers, it means you are missing it. Well, some people said, okay, I will post in the morning and I will post in the afternoon. Then I will post in the evening. Then I will not come back. If you are thinking about doing your business that way, you're not doing anything. He says sometimes I post, I post in one hour ten times. <laughs> I share my business. I share. I share my business ten times. So be be obsessed with your business, guys. Be obsessed with it. Be yeah. obsessed with what to pay you money. You you add what as the Lillian said. He said. Well, if you can spend all the hours going to school at the end of it all, you still cannot have the money. Why don't you use that energy and still go find something that will pay you the money? The person that is speaking to you is well read. Eh? Yeah, she's she's a school person, you know. Those ones that when you see them, you you give them chance. That's those are right. <laughs> Charles has come. <laughs> Well. Now, 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 looking yes, back, sir. looking back to where you got started, where you were mocked, where you were laughed at, where and to where you are now. What are your success stories? What are you grateful for? Wow. Huh. <laughs> you know, you know, <laughs> honestly, what I'm experiencing right now. I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. Honestly, I wanted money, but I didn't know that I could make so much in a short time. I wanted money. I didn't know that I would get to make so much in a short time. You know, I was. I am ready. sending my account number. You need to bring some. <laughs> <laughs> because at some point, I started looking for what to do with the money. I said, "There was a day I had to call my upline." I said, "You did not. You did not explain very well to me. You know, can you, as in my me, counting?" You know, not seven, you know, seven digits now. 
the day I counted eight digits, is it eight? I'll call it eight. Okay, yeah, it's, it's eight digits. The day I counted eight digits, I <laughs> sat on the floor and I started weeping. You know, honestly, it's humbling. It's humbling. I was someone. It's humbling. It's humbling. And this is just in three and a half years. I've seen people. I've seen people who have worked all their lives. Yes, they have money, but I know how much it took them. I know how how many years they had to put in, how much of how much of struggle they had to put in to get to where they are. I know people who have spent their lives working, you know. I can't explain this to you. Now, before I joined this business, I told you I only had 20,000 in my account. Three and a half years later, I can see a property and say, I want to buy this because I can afford it. Not, in, not just in any part of the country, but in the, on the island. You see, sometimes I begin to wonder, what if I said no? What if I was still doing, I went to school, I can't be found here? What if? You're yeah, doing posh, posh, baby. Posh. Yes. What if this I was is doing not my thing. <laughs> <laughs> and I did not listen. No, aside from all the monies that we've been able to make and all of that, what about the lives, the impact we've been able to make in the lives of people? I have husbands that call me to say thank you, that hold me so dear to their hearts because of how their wives have become because they joined me. I have people I can call up on the phone. I can't reach their wife and I'm calling their husbands and they're like, oh yeah, the SD, SD. And they're like, because they, you can feel the respect. You can feel, and these are people who are older than me. You know, I, the, the, what he has brought to mm. my family, my extended family as, as, as a whole, the respect they give to me. They now use me as an example to other people. Mm. Mm. You know, one of my uncles said, you are, you are worth more than four men. <laughs> You are what more than for me. <laughs> I have I was able to renovate my dad's house, change his car. This was not even now when I became a star director. All of these things I did it as a diamond six. I'm just wondering if I didn't have all that money, if I didn't join this business, would I have been able to do this? Would I have been able to impact lives? Ministry. I have a passion to push the gospel to the ends of the earth. Now I can partner with the gospel. I can partner with my man of God to push the gospel. You know, those are things that if I didn't have money, I wouldn't have been able to do. Money is a weapon, guys. It's a defense. The Bible even says it. It's a defense. It's a, a foolish man's wisdom. Or what this is, it's a foolish man's um, talk is, um, I don't know how the, how the Bible puts it. You know, <laughs> but that's the truth. When you, when, you, when you don't have money, you don't have a voice. You don't have a voice. And money does not, you know, what they say, money is the root of all evil. It's not true. Money is not the root of all evil. The love of money is the root of all evil. If you don't have much, so many, money, so many things will not work. So many things will not go on. You'll be grounded. You'll be grounded. And, and, and money, and, and money does, it, does not change anyone. It doesn't. It only, I mean, it only magnifies it who it, you are. Yeah, yes. it magnifies who the person is. Exactly. If you are stingy, if you are a wicked person, and you have money in your hands, Money will make you more wicked. More wicked, exactly. Or if you, if you are if you are humble, you are caring, you are loving. Money will, will amplify it. Exactly, exactly. Mm. So tell my life us has more. Changed. Tell us more. We are hearing. We are hearing. My my life, my whole life has changed, <laughs> and I can stand and you know hold down a crowd. Hey, that's the biggest thing for me. The biggest thing that happened to me is that this shy girl can stand and hold down a crowd of whatsoever number. I can stand and talk to them and they would listen mm. that is personal development 100 percent. i have changed my life has changed i can start can you, buy, can you buy that from school you can't they don't teach us that they don't teach us how to <laughs> they, teach us, they teach us that they only keep teaching us how to make money without showing us how to make money okay i can talk to you know there was a time when I was reached out by a pastor, a man of God, who owns a very big church. And he wanted me to come and speak to the women in the church, to inspire them, to motivate them, you know, to start doing stuff, to make money. I was humbled. He paid me for that, okay, to come and speak. That, for me, is mind-boggling. As in, many years ago, I won't, nobody would have known me. Nobody would have even thought I could speak to anybody. But paying me to come and speak to people, that's what network marketing is doing. It's giving me another, you know, path 
you know, making me a personal motive, that if, as in, you know, giving me another business route right now. And if I didn't join uh, this, I, get business, the I, won't have, I won't have found this part of me, honestly. So it, it's a good thing. It, it exposes yeah. you, it builds you up and makes you yeah. a better person. Guys, that's that's the truth. That's that is the reality of our business. You see what what uh, uh, what money what this uh, industry or profession long reach can do for to a lot of people. People can it's unimaginable. It's unimaginable. Can you hear that, guys? So we are we are so grateful for sharing this journey with us. Thank you for letting us uh, know how you got started how the journey looked like and how you got to where you are in the business there's nothing like financial freedom guys there's seeing a property and saying this is what i want this is what i want to buy not just in the village but in in the in the city in the main city this is the property i want to buy it's no it's not joke guys it's not joke and this is in the space of three and a half years. She joined 2017, January, and looking at 2017, 2021, I can imagine, I can imagine the journey. So uh, if you're not serious in your business, take it serious, guys. Take it serious. Take it serious. I wanted to say something about the new price that is coming up. People have people are scared people are what do you what do you have to say about people's fear about yeah. the changing you know there's, there's you know people people hardly adapt to change change is very difficult you know it's, it's difficult for everybody even for for me as a person but there's something about life you know if you keep looking at i keep i keep saying if you keep looking at the hitches you keep looking at the challenges you'll be distracted you know i try to tell people that when you see a challenge, look for what what are you saying? We can be saying the same thing, but we're seeing it differently. Same situation, yeah. but seeing it as in differently. I tell people, a lot of things have been increased in Nigeria. The fall price, a lot of the onions, um, everything is up. Such as tomato, a lot of things have increased and we bought them. We did not go crying, we did not go hungry, we bought them. So if our products are increased because they said they have no choice but to increase so that they can survive here in the country or in Africa, we will have no choice but to sell it. You know, the truth is that there are companies that are existing like us that have products and their products are even more pricey. I have friends in other companies and I can tell you for free that most of our product compared to their product, their products are more expensive, but they're selling. I have a friend who is in one other company. They are into beauty, beauty products. I know I buy their eye cream from them. A small bottle of eye cream, I buy for just a little bottle this small. I buy for 6,000 naira. They sell. In fact, she makes, <laughs> she said she, and in fact, they tell them they have targets to sell. That's how their business runs. So monthly, you must even make sales. So if you have a large team and you're working and you're not making sales, you don't earn one naira from the company. Okay, so- And yeah, there's no target. There's no target to that company. She sells, she sells, she sells at least 800 to 1 million a month she sells she's a big person in the company but she sells she makes sales now people buy those products and i'm beginning to imagine if you're making such sales it means that people are buying in the same country where we're complaining that there's no money people are still selling products that are expensive so it depends on how much value you, you, you place on your products and it depends on how you see your products our products not for everybody those who understand quality those who understand organic those who understand what they are buying will buy from you. All you need to do is look for your targets. You see, there's 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 um Benz, there's there's Benz, right? The brand Benz, there's Lamborghini, there's Honda, there's uh, Camry. If you want to buy a Benz, as in you know now how it is, or maybe a Ferrari, a Ferrari right now, the price of a Ferrari mm. will buy you almost 15 Hondas, right? But people still go to buy Ferrari. It's not the same car that will push them out or drive them around. Why are they buying Ferrari? They are buying Ferrari because they are buying that's looking at the value. They are buying the value. They are buying status. They are buying comfortability. So look mm. for those who understand. See, once you understand your, what you have, you will know how to sell what you have. 
I have never That's seen that as a challenge. Yes, it will be difficult for people to adapt, adapt to it because it's a new thing. But if you know what you are selling and you know the right words to tell people, you'll be able to educate them and they will, the people that understand will buy from you. If people are making money from other companies that have higher high products, we will make money. There's no cost yes. to fear. In fact, we're going to pull in more volumes even in the price increase. That's what I tell my team. It's not a stopper. It's not a stopper. So you need to start educating your team that's, right that's... now. Start managing their expectations right now. Teaching them that this is what to expect and this is how to go about it. That's it. That's it. That's the truth. So uh, Jennifer is laughing at your 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 illustration of one Ferrari biting on that. <laughs> Boy, it's the truth. It's the truth. <laughs> it's the truth. So uh, we'll, let's take uh, three questions from the uh, audience. Those who are watching us, we'll have the the. the, the, the you are, the floor is open. If you are fired up, I want you to drop some fire emoji. Drop the fire emoji in the comments and don't forget to share this video. Keep sharing. Let's have a thousand share. Today is our 50th episode of Meet Your Success Partner. So what, what question do you have for SD Lillian? What question? What questions do you have for SD Lillian? Let me see. Let me see what you have for her. Three. We are taking three questions from from you guys so ask your question now nah, she's on your hot seat <laughs> ask the question everyone is excited look at the fire emoji i hope you're seeing the comments i can't so funny enough i can't see are you serious see. everyone yeah. is excited okay Who knows? I always say, who knows life, Ferrari? So, so, what questions do you have? I can see your fire emojis, guys. I can see how excited you are. What are your questions? <laughs> so, someone is asking, how, how do you build to the top? So she mentioned it. How do you build to the top? How I build to the top? I honestly, in the first three years or first um first two years, I built strictly on social media. I did social media all through, but after when my team started growing and it became large, I had to come out. So I started going out to talk to people for people, you know, present do presentations here and there, but. Basically, my business was built 90% through social media, you know, and I've shared a few of the things I did, majorly from adverts, majorly from adverts, and not just from posting, just running adverts, you know, mm. getting people curious, you know, and the kind of things you, you, you advertise has to be things that will get people curious to reach out to you. So not necessarily come and join my company, they are, they, they're 35 years old, based in so-so and so, manufacturing for, for, for top brands, no. But something to get them, you know, excited to want to reach out to you you know i built i used to pick curiosity in the minds of people a lot you know some of them will come in and want to know and then maybe they'll even hear it network marketing and they would not you know bother to get on board but most times i catch it's like a trap you set the trap and you allow people to get into your trap and get caught so some people will come in with a high expectation and find out wow i used to i can get this and they will say i want to join Okay, and then I walk them through joining. But one thing I used to do is, I still do till today, is once I get you on board, I teach you what I'm doing. So I teach you what I'm doing and I get you to, and I hold you by your hand, I'll make sure you're doing what I'm doing. And that's what brought the duplication. You know, I taught them how to use the social media, how I was doing my adverts, how I was, you know, sometimes I even help them manage their pages. You know, I was doing that for them. So what I do is I do it for you for like 60 days and I allow you to continue. So that way people were doing their own thing and it brought duplication. Okay. And before I mm. knew what was happening, it went on autopilot and that's how the business grew. That's basically how I grew. Wow. Wow. Social media rocks, guys. Social media rocks. No. I tell people I have over 53,000 team members, 90% are on social media. Now, the next somebody is asking about Messi. How do you advise partners who have unsupported spouses? Okay. Um, 
you know that was i had a case recently of someone who wanted to join my business okay and i asked i got her to i tried to um, educate her on reasons why she should register her family and she was like okay cool she would like to do that but when she wanted to make payment she told me to register just her kids and i mm. was asking her what about oga and she said no that's oga is not oga is actually telling me i should not do this so what's the point registering him you know for me i told her, i said see even if you succeed in this business oga will truncate your effort the fact that you know as a woman you are the man is the head of the home so when your business starts growing mm. when you need to go out when you need to go out and talk to people for people or when you need to go out and do presentation for your team or guy will not support you because he's not seeing anything i advise her <laughs> to register him even if he's not supportive register him let's and grow his legs let him even start making money let him start earning the small monies i remember when i started i think my told me one time when they paid him two thousand three thousand four thousand one day he told me he said tell your people to stop scattering my bank statements <laughs> Hey. Well, that was then. That was then. Wow. Today, my husband makes my husband is a diamond, diamond six, almost a diamond seven. He qualifies for everything qualifiable. He even got the car last year, you know. Wow. And you know, when a business is not even doing, pays him five, paid him five million naira, and it's a woman's work. You know, do you know that's that's the love around. That man will come the love, around. The, the love he, will increase. He, he will increase, he will come around at the end of the day. But if you don't register him. Right, and you just register the kids, and only you and the kids are earning. One day, a guy will tell you you're not going anywhere because he's not seeing the, he's not seeing anything from what you're doing. He's not, he's not, he's not, he's not feeling it. Do you understand? So, um, men will come around, but they need to mm. see your results before they come around. Most men are short-sighted. Women have keen sight; they see very far, but men see very short-sightedly. Only a few men see very far. Maybe like George, Charles Tambo. <laughs> Only a few men see very far. They want the big uh, money immediately. They want to start making big money. They don't want small, small money. And that's why we are telling them about such businesses. They are not interested. But the way to prove them wrong is to focus. Focus on your focus. Put on the blinders. Stop being distracted. Make sure you change his mind. And the only way to change his mind is by getting the results. So you are the one to get him much. to come around. Fantastic, fantastic. Thank you. So, guys, mercy on board. And others, I hope you heard that. Make us earn, make us make money. But me, I like the money. I can sell the part and make the money. So, okay, she, how do you manage your team when their attitude towards your business is not my Okay, um, one thing I wanted to also know is that your team is a reflection of you your team mm. is a reflection of who you are if you're someone who is very very fired up who has so much energy you find out that the same set of people are attracted to you same set of people are joining your business have you seen that when you see people who are very intellectual like dr id now if you look into her team you find more of book, people who went to school in that team if you look at charles tambo's team let's look at it you'll find more people with like i think they are going crazy in the team you, see, you are a reflection of your team so if your team's attitude is wrong you need to sit back and take a look at your attitude honestly that's what i talk to is a reflection is a principle of attraction it's attraction there's a book called them um, attraction if you read that book you will understand you attract what you are if your mood is down today is up you will have people like that in your team if you are somebody who doesn't listen to advice from your upline, you will have people like that in your team. If you are somebody who is always at loggerheads with people, you will have people like that with your, your team. You are just a reflection. I think you need to sit down and you know reflect on who you are and find out if some of the things you are seeing right now that you don't like, if you are also you know giving that vibe. That's how to one way change your team's attitude. Your attitude has to be top notch. If you want a team that responds, are you responding in the chat rooms where you are? Are you obvious? If you are in chat rooms where you are, other where your team members are, and you're not responding when people post stuff, and you want your team members to respond when you post, it will not happen. They actually follow you. You are a model to them. So they watch you and emulate what you are doing. If you want them to recruit, and you are saying, go out and get people, they are not seeing you going out to get people. They will not go out to get people. It's just the same thing. I hope I've answered that question. All right. Thank you very much.
thank you very much for for sharing that and uh, guys i also use the word manage i want you to remove the word manage manage we don't manage team we members manage. we lead them we lead yes. them because if you fall into the management mode guys that means your business will be going down lead the team like what sd shared with us now is leading your team want to see tell show them uh, and they too also will have to also show you what they are doing so that that's what we do uh, your team is a reflection of who you Ah, that one is a big word, big statement, and, and that's the truth. I went to a seminar, I, I attended an, a paid event, and someone said, "Ask the same question." Then the best, the, the the speaker asked the guy, "Have you recruited yourself into your business? Have you recruited yourself into your business?" So, the first person to recruit, the first person is you to join your business is you, is you is you so when i'm when when my business is failing the first thing i ask myself is what, what is it i'm doing, doing right what, what, am I, what am i doing wrong here yeah, man i'm not asking myself what is it my team is not doing right no what am i not doing right and i look at it i'm pumping massive action massive activity and i see them firing up hey our leader is out so that guy you show them so that's how it goes so thank you uh sd for for sharing your journey with us and i love the money part you know i always like the money part when you were mentioning the money you were so overwhelmed with the money and i'm going to send my account number so that you can send me more money <laughs> <laughs> so guys the book is out the book is out this book is out get your copy for the pre-order until it is sold out get it the link is on the screen and if you want to make a direct payment drop link inbox me link and i will send you if you want to get a book copy for your team i want you to drop uh, uh inbox me book that is we are getting up to 10 copies disrupt disrupt how to become highly successful in network marketing is out i have i have leaders who shared some tips on this book, I have Tiffany Mallot, Austin Zalop, Chad Natida. Chad Natida was my offline, my previous company. They are a couple, well, well, they earn over a million dollars every month in network marketing. And I have their story here also in this book. I have Olushi Bahama, number five. She shared some tips in this book. Vivian Mokome and Adiolu Akiemi, you know, so these are these are many of my mentors who have yeah, they, 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 they shared some stuff that will help you grow your business and my experience in the past 14 years in network marketing. Disrupt, disrupt the space. Imagine people telling you, 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 are, you can't. And as a result of your business now, you can. This is where, what this book can do for you. And it comes with a workbook for this month. You're buying the book, you're getting the workbook for free. From next month, it's not going to be free. The workbook comes with the cost. It's a 31 day guide on how you can do your business. This is this is the two. This is a book. It's out, guys. It's out. <laughs> so get your copy anywhere you are. You can order. It's on Amazon. Anywhere you can order. This book and it will get to you on Amazon. And on Amazon, you can't get this for free because Amazon has to do the printing. And so it comes with a cost on Amazon. Now, there's a training. You know, I has mentioned the training. Trainings are very key to our business. And I don't play with it. I don't play with it. No, irrespective of whatever team you are. I don't care. I, may, I want every one of you to know what, what our, our industry stands for and also have success in your business. So that's why I'm always promoting this. There's a training coming up April 2nd to 4th. April 2nd to 4th. And um, I'm privileged to be one of the speakers alongside great mentors in the industry of network marketing. April 2nd to 4th. So I'll be sharing my screen quickly in a minute so that you see what I'm talking about April 2nd 
There's a training coming up, and I want every one of you to be part of it. I've asked this question. If you know that spending 15,000 Naira or $35 will make you over a million dollars in 2021, won't you sacrifice and spend that kind of money? That is what a training can do for you. Do you see the speakers here? Do you know any of the speakers here? I want you to drop in the comments if you know any of the speakers. How many, which of the three speakers do you know here? Yeah, you can see Otin Box. Octin Box, Otin Box is one of those people I follow the network marketing, is the activities master, back to back. He has his own company now. You see, we're hitting, you see Banks, you see Storm, Storm, Storming Williams, you see Robert, uh, Jeff Roboti, this guy has earned over a hundred million dollar in network marketing. This is Child and Natida, one of the first billionaire couple in the world network marketing. So these are great leaders. And if thirty five dollars will enable you pick their brain for three days, you want to sacrifice it and be part of it. So that's why I'm sharing it with you guys. Take advantage of it of these events they are key to your success you can't grow in network marketing if you're not ready to become more when you become more when you do more you now have more so thank you for being part of today's show thank you my boss lady uh, thank you. uh we are grateful for the journey you've shared with us and so follow us on facebook follow us on instagram and follow us on YouTube. Do that. Follow us on YouTube. Very important. Follow us on this media. There are lots of great content you'll be receiving. And um, we want to tell you all thank you. 50, 50th episode. What, what should I give out in this 50th episode? What should I give out? What do you want me to give out? Let me give out. Let me give out some money. 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 Let me give out some money. So. Let, let, I'm going. If if you have shared this video several times and you are you want to share, share it again. I'm giving out five thousand naira each to ten people to celebrate the fiftieth episode of Meet Your Success Partner. Oh, well, instead of giving out five thousand naira, why don't I give out these to I, ten people? I wanted to say nah, I, you. You, I should give. I'll give out two books. Five thousand naira and the book. Somebody said the book, the book. Hey, hey, <laughs> our, our boss lady is giving out two books. two books. So what you need to do now, what you need to do now to, <laughs> what, what you need to do now, I don't know what, what assignment am I going to give you guys for you to end this. What you need to do, do, Drop, I'll, uh, have you watched all the episodes? How many of these episodes have you watched? Drop in the comments how many of all the episodes you've, you've watched. Yo, we are going to make selection here. Now, now, now at the moment. Now, now, now. Where are you watching? Mm -hmm. How many episodes have you watched for Meet Your Success Partner? All? All? <laughs> all? So I'm giving out 10 of this instead of money. 10. Book ten of this. You pay for the will be. Pay for the will be. All, all. Somebody say, Olive Adiola. Olive Adiola. Take notes. Write the name. Okay, let me just put it in my phone. You can see Olive Adiola. Olive Adiola. Inbox me. I wonder why you're not seeing the comments on your screen. I'm not. I'm not at all. Olive, Abiol, Olive. If it, some of us are, some of us did not allow Facebook to see. And some of us are not didn't allow Streamyard to enable me to see your your comments, your comments. So I can see Olive, Olive Adiola, Olive Adiola. Inbox me, Olive Adiola one. 
Or what do you say? Seventh episode. Uh, seventh episode. Be sincere to yourself, guys. All the episodes. Have you watched all? How many have you watched? YouTube and Facebook. Collins. Collins. John Wadia. One is John Wadia. Then Stella. <laughs> yes. Yes, yeah, Stella. Stella Amanabu. Stella Amanabu. Oshaya. No, it's not Oshaya Aza. Oshaya Aza. Oshaya Aza. <laughs> How can I make payments? Inbox me. Inbox me if you want a copy for yourself. Inbox me. Adebi. Bode. Bode Adebi. My SD, if I'm not taking your time, you can, you can. No, no problem. You can. No problem. Uh, okay, okay. Thank you very much for staying with us. <laughs> A day B. So all these people are mentioning. Make sure you are following us on Instagram. Go on Instagram, follow us. I'm going to share. One, two, three, four, five. Mulu, 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 Irene. You are in Kenya. How do we wave you to you? Maybe when I come to Kenya. So let me take note of your name. Mulu, Mulu. Irene, then Ebony Ellen, Ebony Ellen, you tell us how to get your book. You can, you are in UK. Who is Ugoshi? <laughs> Just be dropping 50th episode. Drop 50th episode in the comments so that we'll be picking it. Drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it. Well, it's Rafu Joe. 50th episode. I have just some emoji. Emoji. Make comment. Share. It. Keep sharing this video. I will keep on sharing. Keep sharing. Boss. I, I've watched like 50. I've ordered for the book. I want the 5K. This I have said I want the 5K. This book we are giving out now. We have changed our mind to books. So that you read it. Anna. 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 <laughs> See the rush. I love your energy, guys. Well done. <laughs> Anna Oko Awo. I don't know where you are. So, Oko Awo. Inbox me, Anna. Anna. How many years now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, plus our SD, that's 12, right? 12. 8. Drop it, drop, drop it, drop it. Margaret. <laughs> More. Okay. You guys are not making me to see this. NKN Amara. NKN Amara. I don't know where you are. NKN Amara. Amara. Azuzu. In GDK. Azuzu. In GDK. In GDK also. In GDK, right? Azuzu in Jidika. Okay. So, guys, thank you very much. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Many two person. Who is Jacinta Obona? Jacinta Obona and Jidiofo. 
Thank you very much. Obona. So guys, contact me. Contact me. Inbox me. Thank you for being part of today's show. We're going to be doing some giveaway this period. Huh? Our next episode, we're moving to South Africa. Join us next week. We're coming back to Bar. I'm going to Cameroon. If you have any contacts, if you are, if you, if you have been on this episode, let's meet in Cameroon. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you, Ahesdi. Thank you for being part of this show. We are grateful. Thank you for sharing your journey with us. So, bye, everyone. Bye, 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 bye. Bye.